Well, the country is basically bankrupt. And it's not bankrupt 10 years from now or 20 years from now. It's bankrupt today. My family is from Pittsburgh, and Pittsburgh was a gigantic industrial city in the, in the country and uh, started outsourcing all the, the steel work out to China and stuff like that. It put thousands of people out of work, and that really hit hard. The thing is, a lot of people you know they, they, they're in a wreck right now, and they're trying to calm their nerves down. You ride by and look at some of these beautiful homes at night. Uh, you only see one light burning and that's in the bedroom. A lot of people ain't sleeping at night. We're depending on, we're depending on people that don't care about us. And they're making it more harder for us every year. Re really just kind of destroying the morale of the American people. It's dividing us in two. I'd like to see them live in the lifestyle we're forced to live in for one month and survive the way we do. I don't know, what are you going to do? The whole world's a mess no matter which way you turn. And it's only getting worse. We're going to go out and meet people from all parts of this country. We're going to travel, we're going to talk to them. I look at it and say we should go tell people that we have solutions. If the question is pick one nation state. But there's global pressure for the United States to get its act together. And you're going to be paying off all this, this, this debt. Because I'm not sure we can turn around overnight. Sorry, well, we're getting two bad choices from bot politicians, we know that. We just want them to do their freaking job that we put them in there to do. You know, I'm risking my life fighting terrorists and I came with my kids in a, in a good school, you know. I don't think we can make a movie about every single thing. I've already gotten calls in. What about the Federal Reserve? What about gold? What about the dollar? I, I think we have to make a movie about so people can have, have some construct in their head. Like, this is how we're going to have to do things. But then they've got to get home to see who's going to be the next American Idol or who's dancing with the stars. And that's great entertainment, but it's not fixing America. Again, some people wouldn't like it. Lots of people wouldn't like it. It absolutely has to be done. <laughs>